Well, continuing with the uh, story of LaSalle College in Europe from 1960, although as the first resident director of LaSalle in Europe, I was young, 25 at the time, but I had lived and traveled extensively in Florida, Canada, and all over Asia while I was in the Army, before joining the faculty of LaSalle University. Most of the 16 LaSalle students, however, had always lived with their parents in or near Philadelphia. European life was an awakening for them. To their credit, they adjusted to all the cultural differences that Fribourg and Europe in general demanded of them, sometimes of only after kicking and screaming, of course. Just when they had recovered from seasickness on the transatlantic crossing aboard the French liner Liberté, they had to contend with another way of eating in a budget pension, Maison Don Bosco. And then there was money to be changed for a price, of course. There were ID cards to get, a postal system to become acclimated to, television and radio tariffs to pay. Isn't that sort of thing free everywhere? A metric system to adjust to, the tram schedule to learn and fares to understand. And where, dear God, can one find a simple hamburger and french fries and a good old Coke? Where can one get an American coffee and an American meal and see an American movie? In the beginning, the students thought, these, quote, foreigners, the Swiss, should do everything the American way. But to their credit, the LaSalle students soon let go of their provincial view of the world and delighted in visiting the local cafes, movies, ski resorts, and other towns of Switzerland. And in a word, they started to steep themselves in the experience their parents had paid for. Many had local friendships, either through their participation in a Fribourg basketball league or through their inevitable attraction to the opposite sex. At least two of the group married girls they met in Fribourg. Despite discontent over the food at Don Bosco, most of the students grinned and bore the enforced diet and lesser quality than they were used to at home and put on with their, got on with their studies and other activities. And for most, being in Fribourg and away from home and, and in Europe in general, was a great success and a great challenge. 